Hey guys, welcome back to Millennial Moms. The mom life is a crazy life and getting places on time is no different. Welcome back to Millennial Moms. My name's Jamie. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys like what you see. So I've got three kids, three and under, and getting places on time seems to be so difficult sometimes, but I have come up with a few go-to hacks that I use on a regular basis to get us out of the house. This first hack applies more to having toddlers or young kids, but I usually leave one pair of shoes for each kid inside of the car. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but my toddlers are always taking their shoes off in the car and it is driving me insane most days. So I have just decided to leave a pair of shoes for each of the kids inside of the car and that way I can just get the kids in the car I don't have to worry about putting their shoes on and I don't have to worry about putting their shoes on and then putting them back on when we actually get to the place because they already took them off the second hack that I use is I have a little basket inside of my laundry room next to the door where we go into the garage and get in the van and in this basket I just have their hoodies or maybe a light jacket something that I can grab really fast when we leave somewhere I don't have to go through the process of hanging it up every single time they get done using it, I can just throw it in the basket and I don't have to worry about it. The next thing that I do more times than not is I do my makeup in the car. Now I don't do my makeup in the car when I'm driving, but I do my makeup when all of my kids are sitting in their car seats and we are either in my garage and we're getting ready to leave or maybe we arrive somewhere a little bit early when that actually happens. Everyone is contained. I might even throw a movie on. Speaking of being in car seats and being contained, I will usually get everything together before we go somewhere and then I will put my kids all in their car seats and take care of whatever the rest of the stuff is. So that if I have to fill up sippy cups or last minute I have to run upstairs and put deodorant on, whatever it is, sometimes it's easier to just go ahead, put them all in the car seats, obviously leave the doors open. We're talking like two minutes max to just do one quick sweep around the house and get whatever last minute things need to be grabbed. This next thing is to have a blowout bag. Now I actually did a whole video on what's in my blowout bag a couple years ago. It probably needs to be updated over on my own channel but basically what it is is you keep some sort of bag inside of your vehicle and it has all the staples of a blowout or a meltdown or any kind of issue that needs to be fixed we're talking diapers pacifiers snacks extra shoes extra underwear whatever you might need that you don't want to grab every single time you fill up your diaper bag to go somewhere you just keep it all inside of a blow-up bag inside of your car another hack is to have some kind of outing bag now this is different than a blowout bag in the sense that this specific bag is going to have maybe sunblock in it or swimming trunks, maybe some swimming diapers depending on how old your kids are. Things that you would need if you're going to go out somewhere that you might forget to put inside of your diaper bag. I just feel like the less last minute thinking that I have to do, the safer everybody else is. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up if you guys can agree with me. Comment down below and share some of the ways that you plan ahead. Maybe do you guys have a bag that you keep everything in? The next tip is to make it a race or just make it fun. If kids are having fun, if there's some kind of incentive or a winner, then it just makes things a lot easier. I feel like they're more apt to follow along <laughs> and listen to directions if it's fun. All right, guys, so those are my hacks for getting places on time with kids. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you're not already. Check out yesterday's video from Tay. It'll be linked up here for you. And my personal channel, Jamie Kite, will be linked down below as well. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, and I will see you next Monday on Millennial Moms.